Nicole Jones is the principal at Lanier Elementary. Got a chance to go out and visit with Nicole, I think in early December. Maybe Correct. we got a chance to talk about some of what's happening there at the school. Got a couple hundred kids in the school. Is that right? Correct. That's right. And uh, how long have you been there? I've been there going into this year right here will make my ninth year um, going uh, working for Redesign Schools, um, Lanier Elementary. And I was going to say, L Lanier is a part of the redesign portfolio that includes Glen Oaks Elementary and Dalton Elementary as well. Yes. All right, so I want to get right into it. You heard my last question to Preston Castile about all the hats that teachers wear now, and I've heard this a lot because I'm a part of an initiative helping to get the word out about some of what these schools are doing. And it's one of the things I hear the most is that you have to do more than just show up and teach. And last week, the coach of the Terra High basketball team, ladies basketball team, talked about he has to be a, a father, an uncle, a referee sometimes in addition to, to being a coach. Could you talk about that, the, the multiple hats that you're, you're teachers have to wear now? Absolutely. There are multiple hats that um, my teachers have to wear, as well as myself. Yeah. Uh, you know, we have to be the mother, father figure, <laughs> counselor, um, sometimes the babysitter, you know, yeah. sometimes they need us to kind of nurture the kids, but we wear multiple hats. You have to be the nurse, mm -hmm. you know, uh, a psychiatrist um, for these babies, you know, and it's because you love what you do. Yeah. You know, if you love teaching, Teaching is more than just teaching. You see, there's that thing that y'all have when I talk to teachers about the job they do. It's that, that, that intensity, that passion about it. And most people miss that if you're just doing a job versus living a purpose. And I think that's what we often miss about people who are teachers or people who are uh, in medicine or in law enforcement is that you have to love this as a purpose. It can't just be a job, right? Right, right. Yeah. You have to definitely love the job because it is a lot of work, you know, uh, especially since COVID um, happened, you know, we yeah. have those those gaps that we tried to close, but not only that, it was kind of traumatizing the kids. You yeah. know, we had to give up everything that we was doing in one day and go strictly to virtual, virtual learning. learning. Yeah. So that was, kinda, that was kind of, that was kind of shocking <laughs> for us. See pictures from things that you guys have done at the school. I remember when we met in December and uh, we were talking, you were a week of, ahead of doing a movie night that where you were going to be showing the Polar Express. Yes. And it was going to be like a pajama thing for the kids with hot cocoa and all of that. You know, that gives a lot of kids a sense of normalcy. We sometimes right. take for granted that kids, every child is in environments where they do these kinds of things. That's not true. Some kids are in environments where they don't get to experience these is kinds it? of things. So how do you balance doing those things that help a child become well-rounded with also having to make certain they learn? And perform how do you balance the two things so how we, we balance that um, every month we do parent meetings mm -hmm. and um, I want the parents to feel involved in all of the kids academics so what we do at parent meetings sometimes you know I, 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 I fix it to where parents are welcoming um, when they come to our school sure. we do things for them as well because yeah. we want them to feel appreciated so for for that polar express night i open it up to families mm -hmm. um not just the parents but they could have bring they could have brought like extended family yeah. and we watched the polar express movie we actually had like the kids do a performance for them as well okay. they did a dance performance then we had an art show and then we um kind of mingled and we did the polar express to spend that quality time that sometimes they kind of miss with their kids because they're busy or yeah. something like that to kind of take time out of the um, the day yeah. to give those parents the See, opportunity. See, I love highlighting things like that here. That's one of the things that I love doing on this show is letting people know that. So let's talk about something that you have at your school. We were chatting about it earlier. So at Lanier, you have foundation coaches and you have acceleration coaches for the kids. The foundation coaches work with the teachers to make certain the kids have a base understanding mm -hmm. of what class they're in, right? right? And then the acceleration coaches are there to support the students in progressing to the next grade level or understanding the information. I think this is wonderful. Talk about that a little bit. So yes, we do have foundation and acceleration coaches. Um, our foundation coaches help to bridge those gaps that students are missing from previous years. Um, they collaborate with the teacher to see where the, the students are performing and they work on those skills. And acceleration coaches, they kind of work with the students that um, are on level and they need to be pushed to um, the next level. Mm -hmm. We have uh, time carved out of our schedule, like a, a hour block where it's intentional in the classroom. Sometimes there are more than just the acceleration and foundation coaches. You have the classroom teacher, you have the ESS teacher. We have literacy assistants that all support those students in the classroom. I, I have a little more than a minute left. You, you also have 
something for parents, Parent University. Talk yes. about that a little bit. So Parent University is the literacy program that we uh, implemented at Lanier Elementary and it's to support parents with those literacy skills that we are lacking um, across Louisiana. Um, <clears throat> we partner with Louisiana Reads who comes out and do um, you know, they do workshops with the parents to yeah. help them with those skills, to educate them, to help them support their, their students. Well, look, same thing with Preston, but the next time you come here, you got to bring some students with you. Absolutely. you got to bring some of the kids with you, and, and they can come on set, and we can talk about what you're doing. If people want to learn more in 30 seconds about Lanier, how can they go find information? They can go to rsl.org, and um, all of our information is on our website. Nicole Jones, keep the great work going. Thank you. All right, so next segment will feature Gordy Rush. He's, I haven't seen him since he said he was in the building a little while ago. Remember what he said back in August? We may ask him about that. And then next week, we're gonna talk a little bit about what we're doing with the homeless population. Got an update on something that's on the way. We'll tell you about it next Friday. Back in two minutes, stay right there.